In this video I'm going to georeference a scanned map using a reference image. This is called an image to image georeferencing. We're going to do that in QGIS and for that purpose we need a georeferencer plugin. That's over there and after installing you will find it under the raster menu georeferencer. You can open the map. It will ask for a coordinate reference system but it doesn't have one yet so we do cancel. Now it loads the image. In another video I explained how to use the grid that is printed on the map for georeferencing. Here we'll use an already georeferenced reference data set. And that is what we're going to take from the map canvas. So I'm going to the map canvas and we're going to use satellite image from the quick map services plugin if we go to Google Google satellite we find it here we know that our map is somewhere in North America and we can look for Mount Marcy by the way this is the geocoding uh, plugin that we use to find places here we can find Mount Marcy. It puts a dot on the map so we can zoom in further. And we'll see uh, here the area that is on the map with these lakes. What is important is that we change the EPSG code to the one of the map that we want to georeference or the one of our study area. And here we're going to use NAD UTM zone 80 North. There it is. So now we can take ground control points from this map. We're going to use uh, this lake. It's not a very easy one because it's very uh, forested. But what we can do is take some uh, points that we can find here, like this uh, dam for example. So let's go back to the georeferencer tool. There we're going to set first the parameters. We start with a linear transformation. Resampling cubic because we want to use the map in the end as a backdrop for digitizing therefore cubic gives the best results if we want to have quantitative analysis analysis with the map we choose nearest neighbor the target should be checked if it's not there you can use this button to choose the right projection and here the output file name loading QGIS when done is set so that's okay now we can start collecting the points so this is the lake and let's look for that dam to collect our first ground control point. We add the ground control point and in this menu we say from map canvas. And there we can take it from the dam here. And it will use the coordinates in the on the fly reprojection that we have in the other screen. So that's our first point. Now what you normally do is you take junctions, bridges, parcel borders. They are not very much available here, so we're going to do it a little bit rough. Um, so we're going to use the shapes of the lakes. That's not a very wise thing to do normally because uh, the lake levels change in time and we of course don't have the satellite image from the same time. It's, it's simply to illustrate how to do it. So I'm going to take this point, take it from the map canvas. If we press space we can uh, pan while just moving the mouse. And we try to find this peninsula with a strange shape. Here it is. And there we place the point. Click OK. And we proceed with the next one. Let's take this one. Maybe that's a better one here. From the map canvas. That was the top of this island. There it is. Do OK. It indicates already an error. The red line gives an approx approximately size or magnitude and direction of the arrow. Okay, we have uh, four points and uh, the arrow is uh, acceptable. It's around uh, three pixels, three and a half pixels. 
so we can uh, run the correction and it was successfully georeferenced so it appears in the other screen and now we're going to close this one we don't need to save it now I'll zoom to the layer and what we'll see is for our study area Mount Marcy that um, it has quite a good result because we concentrated the points around the lake let's see here with transparency we can see the lake shore what we can do is also use blending In blending mode if we put it on multiply we can see the map and the satellite image together and we see that the results are quite uh, accurate in this place. So if this is our study area, this is the, the way forward. On the other hand, if I want to go to another lake in another part, we see big problems. We see big shifts. This lake has been displaced quite a lot. It has to do because our ground control points are only concentrated in a small part of the area. So this video showed how to do an image-to-image -image, uh, georeferencing using Google Satellite uh, from the Quick Map Services and a scan map.